What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K22 Next Gen My Player Builder video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best Kawhi Leonard builds. Now as I said before, this is Kawhi Leonard for Next Gen. If you're looking for Kawhi Leonard on PS4, Xbox One, or current gen, you can check that out in the title card on the right. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be small forward, hand in this doesn't matter, though I did choose right. And jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose two because that's the number he's worn for his entire career. Now for the body settings, you're going to bring him down to 6'6". Six, six. I know that he is a true 6'7", almost close to 6'8", but at 6'6", six, six, you are a little bit faster and you also have that uh, perimeter defense that takes a big hit going up. You have a 96 max if you really wanted to play with a 6'6", six, six, but we're not going to go that high. And in comparison to that 90 perimeter defense, it would be 6'7". So that's why we're going to go with 6'6". Six, six. For the weight, you're going to bring it up to 237 to bring that interior defense up. Uh, you do take a little bit of a hit on speed and acceleration, but I mean, it's not going to be a huge hit to where like you're not going to be a great defender. So we're going to go with 237. Kawhi is actually about uh, 230 pounds, so it's not far off from his actual weight either. And for the wingspan, you can bring it all the way up to 7'2". I think that'll probably help out with the uh, interior defense as well as the perimeter defense when you, you know keep hands up defense. Your hands are a little bit longer you are able to defend a little bit better body shape doesn't really matter i'm just going to go with the five now for your attributes for your close shot you're going to bring that up to a 71. for your driving layup you're going to bring it up to 88. for your driving dunk you're going to bring that up to an 85. so you do get the pro contact dunks and that's going to give you 22 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to bring up your mid-range shot to an 86. Your three-point shot up to an 82. And that's going to give you 27 shooting badges. And then you just slap on those uh, extra points for free throw. You're going to bring that up to an 82 also. For your playmaking, you're going to bring your pass accuracy up to a 73. your ball handling up to an 83 and you're gonna bring your speed with ball up to a 77 and that's gonna give you 23 playmaking badges lastly for defense and rebounding you're gonna bring your interior defense up to a 76 your perimeter defense up to a 92 your steal up to an 84 for the block, you're going to bring it up to a 54. Your offensive rebounding, you're gonna bring up to a 40. And for your defensive rebounding, you're gonna bring that up to a 70. And that's gonna give you 22 defense and rebounding badges. So 22 finishing, 27 shooting, 23 playmaking, and 22 defense and rebounding badges is a total of 94 badges. Now this is, uh, you know, for my career, to do the rack build that but if you don't want the free throw because you play primarily park or you don't play my career or you don't play the rack at all you can actually get an extra badge by taking that free throw all the way down to zero or making it zero and you can bring your block up to a 62 and that'll give you 23 defensive rebounding badges so that'll be a total of 95 badges instead of 94 badges for your physicals, they're going to say uh, identical, not quite exactly the same. And I'll tell you where the switch is going to happen. For your speed, you're going to bring that up to an 81. For your acceleration, you're going to max that up to a 78. For your strength, you're going to bring that up to a 61 if you went with the build with the free throw. Your vertical is going to be a 77. And your stamina is going to be an 80. Now, as you see, I still have some extra points to play with. I can move some things around. Those extra points can be used either on pass accuracy, bringing that up to a 74, that'll max you out. You can also go with strength. You can bring that up to a 63, make you a little bit better interior wise, or or you can bring your, and then you bring your stamina up to an 83. Uh, or you can just uh, bring your block up. You can get a 63 block, 41 offensive rebound. The choice is actually completely up to you. For me, I'm actually going to go with the 61 strength and the 74 pass accuracy so you're a little bit better of a passer i think that that's just a the, the best option personally and so let's get into the takeover 
the primary takeover, you should go with extreme clamps. And for the secondary takeover, you can either go with finishing move, um, but I would actually go with limitless range. And the build is complete and you have built a two-way shot creator, shades of OG and Yanobi, Jimmy Butler, and Jason Tatum. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put Acrobat on gold. You're going to put Lob City Finisher on bronze, Bash Twitch on silver. You're going to be putting uh, Limitless Takeoff on silver, uh, Posterizer on silver, so that your finisher on gold. And those last three badge points are gonna go on Fearless Finisher to bring that up to silver. For the shooting badges, you're gonna put Blinders on silver. You're gonna put Catch and Shoot on silver. You're going to put Hot Zone Hunter on gold. You're going to put Sniper on Hall of Fame. You're going to put Spot Up Shooter on gold or Limitless Spot Up on gold. And for those last six points, you're going to put Stop and Pop on silver. And you're going to put uh, Corner Specialist on silver and Chef on bronze. For those playmaking badges, you're going to put Bullet Passer on silver. You're going to put Quick Chain on gold going to put glue hands on gold bail out on bronze quick first step on silver you're going to put unpluckable on silver tight handles on gold and for those defense and rebounding badges you're going to put ankle braces on hall of fame you're going to put intimidator on bronze you're going to put uh menace on gold you're going to put interceptor on gold you're going to put clamps on gold and for those last four points, you're going to put box on silver. So if you went with the free throw build, you're not going to have that additional point. You have 22 defense and rebounding badges. With that additional badge point, you're going to just put it on, I don't know, post lockdown. Just to help out with that interior presence. So that'll be your 23 badge setup if you went with just the pure park build. Now let's take a look at the jump shot. So Kawhi Leonard's jump shot in the official 2K roster is lower base Ray Allen, upper release 102, zero animation blending because there is no upper release 2. My issue with the way that Kawhi Leonard's jump shot is set up in the official 2K roster is that lower base Ray Allen. So that's across the board. I just hate the way lower base Ray Allen looks. It just seems very unnatural similar to Andre Iguodala's and like Rudy Gay's also where it has just this weird foot movement for this particular lower base he has like this bow-legged look and Quallen is not bow-legged so I don't understand why they decided to go with that particular jump shot but the actual motion looks very similar to Quallen's actual jump shot but the changes that I would make are going to be jump shot 112 uh, for the lower base And then I'm actually going to uh, use upper release Ray Allen because again, the, the motion is not too far off from the actual Kawhi Leonard jump shot. For the animation blending, you're going to go with 20. And for the upper release two, you're going to actually go with Kobe Bryant. And when I get there. As you can see, it's a very similar jump shot. However, he doesn't have that same like real bow-legged look as he did with his previous jump shot. Uh, you can see the comparison on the right. I think it's also a lot more fluid. Kawhi Leonard has a fluid jump shot. His arms do kind of, not necessarily flail out, but he uses a lot of his arm movement when he jumps or when he's shooting the shot. So that does incorporate a lot with this jump shot in particular, and my personal opinion. So that's just my choice, and I think that fixes Kawhi Leonard's jump shot up a bit. All right, everyone, this has been the best Kawhi Leonard build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon. Join the Penny Face squad. As always, you can give me a sub on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash the Penny Face. Give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram at the Penny Face. And follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Mac Roberts. Have a good one, everyone. And as always, win forever.